Ciao friends, Beth with Thimblehooks and it, today is number two, the second edition of my thank a teacher or thank a student because it's almost the end of the school year. I know it's cutting it close but this is super fast. Isn't this cute? It's a, just a little pencil bookmark. uses really easy stitches and you can make this in about 15 minutes. Bam, bam, bam. You can make a bunch of them and teachers you can give them out to all of your students. Um, parents, you can give one to the, your favorite teacher who's helped you out this month, this year. It's been a rough year with all of the weird kind of rules at school this year and a lot of people weren't going and all that. So the ones who are actually there, thank you so much for your help. Let's get started. So to make this little guy, it's so simple. Set this aside. I used all of these colors that you see here. They're all Karen Simply Soft. This one is their baby pink, and there's the light gray. This one is sunshine, and this one is the beige, and this one is the dark gray. So, light heather and dark heather. So you use all of those in order, and we're going to start with pink. I'm using my four millimeter hook. This is a divot soap, and this one is Purple Heart. Isn't it beautiful? This is my Purple Heart. I love him. So we're going to make a slip knot. Boom, on the hook, and chain eight. One, two, three, seven, and eight. And then single crochet back down this chain, seven. So in that next place where you can actually work is your first single crochet. There's number two, six, and seven. Easy peasy. So that was row one. We want five rows of pink. And we're going to be working from pink up. So five rows of pink. And I'll meet you back. Alright, and here's my last couple of pink stitches. And we get our very last single crochet. We're not going to finish it because we want to change to gray. So we're going to go in, pull through. And when you have two loops on your hook, it is time to attach our gray. And again, you don't need very much of this. This is a great stash buster. You got all kinds of little pieces. Uh, Karen living or laying around or if you have any other one is fine. This is a four weight, four medium weight, any four weight will do with exactly what and make exactly what I'm making. So now when we have our two loops on our hook, we are going to finish that stitch with our new color. There we go and chain one. We'll just tighten those up a little bit. You can do that later. And now we're going to single crochet with the gray or with the light heather all the way across. So again that's seven single crochets in this row. This is just so easy. You're gonna love it. And now we're chain one and turn our work and do one more row and then we're done with the gray already. Or the silver or the heather, whatever color you choose. There's our second row of light heather gray. And since this is going to be our last row of gray, when we get to the end we don't want to finish the stitch. Here's my last one. And now when we have our last two loops of silver, we're going to finish the stitch with the sunshine. Just like that. And chain one. Tighten up those stitches a little bit. We're going to turn our work and work. This time is a Suzette stitch. So there's a single crochet and a double crochet in the first stitch and the skip and single and a double in the next and then you skip single and a double and skip and in the very last stitch when you're working this Suzette in a row is just a single crochet. 
there you go and now we're right here so we're going to work all the way up chain one and do the same thing turn in that first stitch is a single and a double skip single and double and a skip and a single and a double and a skip and a very last stitch is a single crochet only and you can tighten all these up as you go so there you go there's a teeny piece right here for this one I did 20 if you wish to make it longer, just keep growing as much of the yellow as you want. And you can make it longer and longer so it can fit a really big book. But I did 20 rows of Suzette. So I'll meet you back at the 20 rows of Suzette and we'll start right here. And so we're going to be working right here now. And I've got my last full Suzette. So this is a single and a double. And then we'll skip. And in our very last stitch is just a single crochet, but we're not going to finish it when we have our two loops on our hook. Now we're going to add in our beige. And you only need a little bit of this too. What a great stash buster. So now we'll finish this stitch with our beige. And chain one. We'll turn our work. And we're going to single crochet all the way across for three rows. Just a single crochet, no other stitches. Just like we did with the eraser at the top, just single crochet. So we'll have seven. Chain one and turn and two more rows of the beige with seven stitches in each. Total of three rows of the beige color single crochets and seven stitches in each of those three rows. And there's six and the last stitch makes that number seven in row three. Now we just want to reduce a little bit. Told you this is really really simple. So we're going to chain one and turn the first two stitches will get a single crochet and then we're going to skip this third stitch single crochet in the very center stitch skip the next stitch and single crochet in the last two and then we just reduced and instead of doing two stitches together I just skipped so it keeps the edge nice. Keeps the edge a little bit nicer than trying to do two togethers in such a small space. Sometimes they look a little bit lumpy, a little clunky. So I did it that way. And then we're going to chain one, turn our work, and we're going to do reduce in the same way. The very first stitch is a single crochet. Then we'll skip the second stitch, single crochet in the third stitch, skip the fourth stitch, and the last stitch we'll get a single crochet. There we reduced it again without having any clumpies. It's perfect, no lumps. This is great. Again, now we're done with beige. So we did a reduce again, so now we have three stitches. We're going to do one more. So we'll chain one, turn our work, and do three more single crochets in this beige color. Stitch number one and two and our third stitch we're going to change to our dark heather now. So we're going to start the stitch but when we have two loops on our hook we're going to change to the dark heather which is the pencil tip. See we're done! Isn't that easy? You can bust these out so fast. Finish the stitch with the dark heather. Tighten this up a little bit. Chain one and turn 
and single crochet across. So there's one, two, and three. Chain one, turn our work. Single crochet across one, two, and three. And one more time. Chain one, turn our work. Single crochet with the dark heather one more time. And then you just finish off. This one has all kinds of ends to weave in. All you need is a needle and just weave back through again. It's really, really simple. But this is what you'll get. And again, if you want to make this longer so it fits even a bigger book, just keep going with your yellow Suzettes with the sunshine Suzettes until you think it's long enough. But I thought this was cute the way it was. So thank a teacher. Thank your students. It's been a really rough year, but it's almost summer break, so that's great. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks. Tell all your friends about me, please. And don't forget to check out my other videos. And I have a great, great giveaway going on right now. So I'll see you soon. Bye.